Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Lazy Atkins here as always, and I'm back with the mother. gold one so now because the gold one is slightly longer than the white so i folded both silk scarf in and then i tied them at the back and once i had my knot i just placed it on my head and started tying from the back and i crossed it in front as you can see over here so once that was done i crossed it and i crossed it at the back and as you can see i was taking all of my hair out so i don't tie it with the scarf guys i advise you to have your hair in a donut and a bun away in a wig cap because it's going to be distracting and it's going to be interrupting what you're trying to do so i did that and i crossed it at the back and then brought it round to the front i was going to put it over each other and i thought oh why not twist it and change the colors so this is me trying to fold it again and then i later thought hmm let's make it change and let's let's have a twist so i twisted it at the back so i had the gold on the other side and i had the white on the other side so that kind of gave it a different look and i actually liked it that i did that so i did that and i just brought it around again to the top and then i did that for the other side and that was it guys keep watching the rest of the video is pretty much self-explanatory so i'm just gonna let you guys enjoy it watch closely
So I'm going to give you guys a 360. Start from the edge, a really, really messy edge, which is this part for me, and just fold it in. Like so. So once you've got your fold in, it's a 50-50, you get the middle, you start from the back. For this style, I'm going to try and put my hair in the bow, not because I don't want anything interrupting me, getting in my way. Okay, so pass it all the way. Get it, start from the back and meet in the front. Hi. Yum. Okay. Once you've done that, you know, just fold the side, fold this in. So use your finger and grab that, and then do the same. You tie it again. Boom. So you've got that, and then. Depends on how you want your bowl. I don't want it too, too big. So what I'm going to do is pull this so it's not too, too big. I don't, I, like I said, I don't want it big. So and then do the same over here. Oh. And twist this and meet it with this one. So I twist this and I just tuck it into one of the sides. And then come back and adjust here. Bang. You got your silk boy. So I'm gonna push it back a little bit. And that's that. You can have it like this. Let me have it like that. If you want the bowl to stand, just grab the end of the of each and then pin it down. That's if you want your bowl to like be high instead of flat. And do the same here, the pin in the edges. And then ooh, you have your gilly standing. No, not your gilly standing, sorry. You have the bow, you have the bow up in the way that you want. So yeah, that's the end of today's video, sorry. So I'm gonna give you guys a 360. Bring my head up, <laughs> not my head, but bring my hair out. Okay. Mm. 
and tie this. Start to fold it in like you do with a paper. Okay, twist the hand. And twist that in and tuck it into the hair over here. So for the hard part of the front of it, I've just got a flyer that I was given on the road. So I've just folded this into two. Got my material and I'm gonna choose the edgy, do the edgy part and then just put it in here, put it in, and then I just fold it. I adjusted the material on my hand so I can give it that shape. So I was shaping it um, on my head. And then once the shape was achieved, I turned around to tie it and secure it at the back. Once that was nice and secure, I came round to the front, but using my hand to adjust it again to give it that look. And I took one of the, the side of the material and I just folded them into each other and then just placed it right in front of the um, the front of the hard gilly. 
to the front of the material I just placed it over my forehead so across my forehead on one side and then I pinned it and then I did the other the other hand of the ghillie the other side of the ghillie as well folded it in and across my forehead and that's how I achieved this look um, and I think that's it guys um, keep watching That's the end of today's tutorial. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can always get a notification every time I release our kids of the new content. For now, remain blessed. And I'll see you in my next video. Do not forget to follow me on all social media platforms TikTok, Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. And I'll be sure to follow that. Let's be friends. Take care. Bye. Again, I swear, we are back again.